In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate through your post's old revisions so you can revert back to older versions of posts and pages in your WordPress site. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you learn WordPress better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's get into these post revisions. I'll see you in the screen capture. We are currently just on a regular post page, and this also works on page pages. But every WordPress post page and page page, you have a revision that is stored. This also works for some custom post types. If you make a change to the content and you update it, a version, the previous version, is saved in the database. And if you do lots of updates, there's lots of versions in your database. So if we came in here, and just as a quick example, I'm just going to take this sentence and just move it right down to the bottom. I just copy, or I cut it, pasted it down to the bottom. I'm just going to click on update here. That new version is going to be the version on the site, but that version that I just changed it from, that is now a revision that we're going to look at in just a second down below. To make sure the revisions are there, you have to click on screen options at the top and make sure the revisions checkbox is checked right here. And if we scroll right down to the bottom, we're gonna find a box called revisions. We can click on any of these links to pull up that revision, pull up what the content looked like at that time. Now the confusing thing is it has this one listed as a revision, but this is actually the current version because we just updated it two minutes ago. This is a version of that update. The one that was eight minutes ago is the one that we changed. If you click on this link right here, just click on any of these links. I'm gonna click on this very first one, which is the current version. And it says here, current version published by whoever the author is. And the restore this revision is grayed out because it's the current version. So if we move this arrow here, the slider back one version to the nine minutes ago version, it was eight a moment ago, now it's nine. We see the old version on the left and on the right we have the version that's currently live. So we have color coded as well. These two paragraphs at the top, they're identical. So they're just in white, they're not highlighted. The next paragraph sections are highlighted, which means something has changed. WordPress tries to say when it's red, it's removed. When it's green, it's, it's not removed. It's kind of hit or miss. It's not 100% accurate. For example, this paragraph is actually this paragraph up here. I just split it into two. So this, should, this green box should be up higher, but it's not. So it's not perfect but it does give an indication of what has changed in the two versions. And if you want to go through and see other versions, you can just drag and drag right through. It has them all listed here. No matter how many you have, they're going to be listed here. And then you can just click on restore this version if that's the version you want to restore. Now, this feature has saved my butt on many occasions, many, many occasions. And what the way I usually use it is I know what I'm missing. So if I do an update to a page and I get an email about it or I look at it and I realize there's a part missing, I know what that part is. So if I go back to the revision, I just find that part and I just copy it, I just highlight it, copy it and put it into the new version because the new version often has lots of changes. So I don't want to revert to the old version and then redo all those updates. I just want to take the piece that's missing and put it in the new version. That's how I usually use it. You're going to find your own way of using it, but having this ability is fantastic. One thing to watch out for though, is that these revisions are stored in the database, so they take up space. And this is a post with not very many revisions, even though it's quite a number. I've seen posts with over a hundred revisions listed here. Each of those is an entry in the database. The database can get really, really big, really fast. And there's a couple techniques to solve that. You can actually have a plugin that limits the number of revisions. I usually use one. I usually limit it to, to three or five revisions per post. So it would only have this many if I set it to five. And then every time you make a new update, it bumps the last one off and adds the new one at the top. The downfall is if you want to revert back to something that's older or if you do five updates in one hour, all the previous versions are gone, except for those five updates you just did. So it's, it's kind of hit or miss. You have to figure out what, what works best for your workflow. 
but I've linked to that video down below if you want to use that plugin. So that's all there is to using the post revisions navigator. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. And I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.